this is a rocket stove that I came up with. I built it for a lady that wanted hot dogs cooked, but very green. And, and what I did was um, I, I, I made about four or five of these variations of this. And what I do is I put wood through this hole right here, right in here. And I have a small opening because what you want to do, you don't have a real big opening. You want to have the, the stack right here. The idea is that the, 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 the wood we put in there, it continually goes up like really fast, the heat of it, and it creates a draft. And so this is the cooking area. And, and this is some of the wood, the wood right here. We're going to be making a little fire. And um, what happens is the flame actually goes horizontal. The flame does not go up. There's enough draft of suction to have the flame go horizontal. And what, what's significant about that is, is if you're cooking, let's say, a, a hot dog or hamburger, you're not having the fire going up in your face. And also the fumes, which are carcinogenic, become part of the fuel. Everything drips right into that little spot, and, and it actually helps you cook. Now, what I, what I also do when I cook up on the top, the hot dog, I cook the buns underneath, OK? And so that's like totally stacking a function. I mean, what, what the hot dog person has ever cooked a bun for you? Have you ever had a fresh bun at the same time you had a hot dog? And then I have a little alien right here. And this little alien, I, I actually do a brand on the bun. This also has a solar extension, this particular unit. I didn't bring it with me. But it's similar to this right here. It, it actually fits on right here, and you have a little place to put the hot dogs. And since we're on this subject, this is a, uh, this is a, a solar cooker. And I'm going to try to get this thing to make make some fire real quick without burning down the place. Um, if you just keep it on there, I could make a little fire real quick. Um, it gets, it, it, I, if I had a piece of paper, I could actually make it catch fire in one second. But because it's only um, uh, twigs, it's not going to catch. But it is getting there, isn't it? So anyway, I don't want to get this thing, you know, smoking too much. So we'll just put it back in there. I should catch fire later. So anyway, the idea is it's a, it's a very old idea that's been used. But what we've done, we've taken it a step farther because it's always about thinking about this next step. And so what we've done is we've taken this pot, and it goes right here. And the space that this pot's taking up, I was losing that edge on this, the cook underneath. So I put a lens on the top to get the top of this pot. And if you see, see that little area right there? That actually gets super hot. And so when you pick up the lid, you, you, I can't even touch that right now because it, it got so hot. So I needed a hot pad to lift it up. So what we're doing, we're, we're actually cooking from the top and the bottom. And that's more efficient than it would be just from the bottom. And and then this also could curve with the sun. And the other beautiful thing that this could do that not many people know about, which is to me one of the most exciting things I've ever discovered, this is like a space heater. I could actually turn this with my rocket stove in front of it, and I could push heat out about 20 feet. And I, we were at these parties, and I was going like this with my rocket stove in the front, because it turns red hot. This is the rocket stove I put in front of it. I have a picture of it right here. This is the rocket stove I put in front of the uh, this thing, and this is like a, a typical space heater with the with the with the red element, and so that way I don't lose the heat from here. I could I could put it where I want to put it, and so the idea is I want to make this into a big giant flower, and then the flower could be like a beautiful piece of art. But wait a minute, that flower could also cook, heat, create hot water, and, uh, and also do dishes. I, uh, I take cast iron parts, and I put them in my rocket stoves, and I don't have to do the dishes anymore. I just put them in there, it takes all the food off of them, and I just dip them in oil, and that kind of like seasons the, the, the metal. 
And uh, I mean, fire is not, really not the first choice. Like in gray water or watering a plant, the first choice is rainwater. The second choice is gray water. And so what we want to do is use the sun first and use fire second. I do a junkyard tour in San Fernando Valley. And I, uh, like for instance, this is from a, a government job, this little piece of perforated metal. Uh, this is from a uh, Balsham Bal Lom. Uh, it was a reflector for a light. This was a hydrogen rocket tank from a rocket. This was a plate warmer cabinet for warming plates. Boy, we gotta have our plates warm. Look out. But this was back in the, in the, in the 50s and 60s they made this and it has glass insulation in it. So this could be at 2,000 degrees on the outside and I could touch it right there and, and I'm not getting burned. Um, this I got at a rocket junkyard. I don't know what they use that for. Um, this is stainless steel mesh and the, uh, the hot dog spaceman was a piece of scrap metal I found. I just carved it out and I saved it from going to China because if all these pieces of metal go to China, then when we have to ore our metals, we have a valley like this that turns into a desert, okay? So that's what I'm trying to help the environment with.